wins against France in Dublin here. Uh, how much better will you have to be uh, if you're going to get a result against them on Thursday? And how do you think that that would be? Uh, I think, yeah, we're going to have to obviously be at the, the top of our game. It goes without saying, um, playing against one of the, the best teams in world football. Um, so, yeah, I think it's about trying to um, trying to add to the performance, like you said, in March. Um, and we'll do that by, by obviously analysing the game, as we've already started to do as a team since we, we arrived into camp yesterday, by looking back at, at the previous game, seeing what we've done well um, and what we can improve on. Then just looking ahead to Sunday, um, the Netherlands coming here, they're coming off the back of two losses now, albeit they were, they were tough opposition. Would you think there's an opportunity there to take points off them at the moment? I think there's always a, an opportunity um, any time a, a team comes to the Aviva. Um, I think we always believe that with our fans behind us, we can we can perform and get a positive result no matter who the oppo opposition is. Um, and I think we've been been quite close to that. Um, in recent times, um, obviously against France, um, Portugal before that, Serbia, so against big nations. So, um, yeah, we'll, no matter what their their form is coming into the game, we'll we'll be looking to go into that game as well, um, trying to get a positive result as always. David? Just from a club point of view, how you found life now in the Premier League so far? Yeah, um, it's been enjoyable, first and, and foremost. Obviously, the, um, the first three games haven't gone as we would have liked results wise but um, it's still very early stages on in, in the season um, a lot to learn of course but um, positive to build on so yeah still very early stages but obviously enjoying being in the Premier League that's I think where where every player wants to be and um, looking forward to what's to come Is maintaining that kind of mentality and positivity just something that as a footballer when you come to work in terms of development you have to be true you just have to stick with all the boys in terms of that kind of yeah, I think um, one of the main sort of characteristics any player to get to um, a professional level has to have, have resilience. Um, you have to be able to, to bounce back from from disappointing moments, um, defeats, and and also not get too high when you you're winning games as well. Trying to keep that sort of constant mindset of of working hard every day and, and looking forward to the next challenge, and um, that's something that we, we definitely try to do. Because even from a perspective, then with, with Ireland coming into this game, it kind of maybe what separates. No, definitely. I mean, you go into to every game back in your own ability, um, knowing the, the the talent you have around you in the team as well. Albeit, you yeah, you of course you have respect for for the players you're playing against um, and what they've done in the game, but. When it comes to to that ninety minutes or whatever it may be, um, all of that kind of goes out the window, and, and you're trying to do everything you can to to, to be better than them on the night and, and get a result. Just, just the last one, just one more for me. If you look back at that game, the home game against France, it's probably one of the few moments where people will say, "I've passed myself and I led to led to the goal." Is that a moment afterwards that kind of maybe playing your own head, or do you think, like, you know, kind of analysing it, or is it just something you have to just try and forget? No, yeah, of course it, it hurts. You're obviously disappointed with yourself in that moment, and yeah, it, um, because we we care so much, it, it hurts for for a few few days after, and um, yeah, something you have to you have to get over. But like I said, you have to have that that resilience to to believe in the way you play. Um, obviously, you have only one chance to make that split second decision, and not every decision you make on the, on the football pitch is going to be right. And when you're playing against Opposition um, of the level of France, you, you can get punished. So, yeah, something that hurt, no doubt about it. But it's something I tried to move on um, from as quickly as I could. And um, yes, it's it's really far out of my head now. And I'm I'm looking forward to to the game on Thursday. Aiden, please. Yeah, just on that, on that pass and that, that goal. I mean, do, do you does that come to you and need you to analyse that, or is it a case where it doesn't need to be said to you? You know, it was a mistake, and you, you just move on from it. Yeah, I think you move on from it. Um, as a as a player, I try and set myself high standards and um, always analyse my games anyway. And yeah, a moment like that doesn't need too much analysing. You know that you've you've made a mistake. And yeah, like I said, it's tough to take in that in that moment and for a few days after. But um, you take it on the chin and, and move on. I just ask you about the, the battle that you'll face in midfield. I mean, you're up against Premier League quality, international quality every week at club level. But someone like Camavinga, I mean, how do 
their midfielders right? Who do you see your personal battle with? How do you how do you prepare for these players who are 70, 80, 90 million? Yeah, I think you try not to, to look at it as a, a kind of one on one battle. Um, it's our team against theirs, so it might not be um, as straightforward as saying it's, it's a match up against an opposition player. Um, uh, I think that the way we'll prepare as a team, we'll, we'll try and come up with a game plan and, and a structure that can can nullify um, the threats they have as a team, and um, that's what we look to do. Steve? Uh, Vincent Company, uh, your manager, Josh, has done everything in the game. He's won Premier League titles. He's you now captain Manchester City. How has it increased your confidence in giving the captain down by the following this season? Yeah, I mean, um, I. I've not thought about it too much, to be honest. Um, whether I have the armband or, or I don't, I try to be the same player and person on the pitch, um, try and lead by example whenever I can. Um, so, yeah, the, having the armband has obviously been been nice for me. It's, it's, it's been been special to, to captain a Premier League side, but I wouldn't say I've thought about it too much. Um, I don't think it's changed my, my approach to games or the way I am. Um, yeah, I've just tried to, to, to carry on doing what I can for the team. Do you feel a good form coming into this window because you were, you know, excellent games in the last campaign and maybe just haven't hit those heights in the first three months of this particular campaign? Do you feel you can get back to where you were in the, in the Premier League? <laughs> yeah, definitely. Um, I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling good, feeling, feeling a good place mentally and physically. So, um, yeah, looking forward to the games. But just finally, like, because you've had a, you know, numerous different midfield partners, has that been a bit of a, has it made, has it, made your kind of job a bit of a struggle because you've had different players in which in, in many different games. Some like Kevin Winges, whatever the case may be. Uh, no, I don't think so. Um, I think whoever plays together, um, we've got got good sort of strength and depth and there's different people that can step in and whoever the, the manager um, selects, we're, we're all behind each other and all enjoy playing with each other. So, um, no, yeah, it's just something that you go through different periods of form ups and downs in football and through your, throughout your career. So yeah, um, but like I said, I feel in a good place heading into Thursday, and I know the squad's feeling in a good place as well. Brendan, Josh, can I ask you? Can you measure how how much uh, international football has improved you or helped you as a footballer? Just your evolution as a, as a player? Yeah, I think it, it's helped massively. Um, yeah, playing in in massive games for, for your country it doesn't get any bigger than that so to, to experience that um, playing against the level of opposition we have um, and playing in the in the atmospheres and environments it's, it's all um, experiences that are only going to going to improve you going forward so yeah I think it's been a massive help for me personally and I'm sure it it feels that way for, for every player. Um, we've talked about the misplaced pass against France when Pavard scored what I remember also about that was how you reacted. I think you were brilliant after that. You were brilliant after that misplaced pass. Um, and obviously, that's is that a consolation uh, to you when you come off, when you analyse your performance, that you reacted well to that adversity. Yeah, I think that's all you can do. Um, there's no chance to. Um, certainly on the pitch, after you make a mistake, you can't dwell on it because um, it can can get away from you very quickly if you do that and. One mistake can be be led by by a lot more. So, um, yeah, it's just something I tried to do, get it out of my head as as much as, as I could on on the night. Um, but yeah, then after the game, obviously it hurts. Uh, making making a mistake is is difficult to take, especially in a in a game for your country and um, a game of the magnitude it was. But um, yeah, it's just one of those things. And when you're on the pitch, you have to try and try and show that mental strength to to get on with it and and, and still try and put in the best performance you can for the team. We have Philip and John to finish. Um, I have this as well, Nathan Josh. Um, just where do you assess Ireland are at the moment in the group? Um, I feel like we're we're well in the group. Um, we know that we're going to have to um, win games and win games against very good sides. But um, yeah, well, I feel like we're well in the group and we believe in ourselves um, going into the game on Thursday and then going into the game on Sunday um, that we can do something special and. Um, I think we showed that in the first performance against France that we can we can definitely match them and um, that's something that we're looking forward to, to doing again on Thursday. What would be something special, do you think? Six points, four points? What about? Six points would be would be very special. Yeah. I think, yeah, sitting here now, if if you offered any of us four points, then we'd, we'd be delighted with that as well. Um, but first and foremost, it's, it's about Thursday. Um, 
and making sure that we prepare right to, to put in the best performance we, we possibly can. Have you played in Paris before? No, I haven't played in Paris before, no. Final one from John. Josh, uh, we know you're a club captain um, and we hope John makes it for the Tour of the Champions. He won't. Like, if you were handed that honour, how much would that mean to you against you know, a team of that calibre and that occasion? Yeah, obviously that's we're, we're speaking in, in obviously um, theoretics, I suppose. I don't know. Um, obviously we will hope John's going to be fit and, and knowing the type of person he is, he will do everything to be fit. Um, and yeah, if I was to be given the armband on, on Thursday or at any point um, further down in my, my international career, then obviously it would be right up there with, with one of the proudest moments of my life. Um, so yeah, that's, that's as much as I can say on it really. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you.